Hey guys, Mike Russo here, team shooter with Ridgeline Defense and 2AF out of the amazing Ridgeline Defense HQ here in Northern New Hampshire. We're gonna unbox my new LPR today. So let's get into it. Right off the bat, obviously we see the rifle. Uh, it comes with a 20 round PMAG and uh, sample test group. Uh, this rifle is printing .476 MOA. I'd say that's super badass and I look forward to uh, seeing if I can reproduce those results. And here we go. Uh, I've had the pleasure of shooting this gun the last couple of months here and really uh, put it to its limits. The, the design around this gun, as you guys are aware, if you've been listening to what they've been putting out about this and why they've done what they've done, I've absolutely been able to reap the benefits that they've put into the design of this system, uh, particularly around the way that the barrel is installed with the barrel nut system. And of course, if you look there, you immediately see the integrated Arca section, which has served extremely valuable uh, for what it allows me to do on the fly with bipod position and obviously the flat real estate when it comes to various barricaded and positional shooting when you're on the clock. Um, the other thing that is immediately noticeable when you fire this weapon system is just how really soft it shoots. Uh, it, it absolutely contributes to fast follow-up shots and keeping your reticle on target regardless of what you're doing. The enhanced controls, on either side are a super nice touch that I didn't think I'd see much benefit on, but I can tell you as somebody who's got thousands of rounds down on the system, these small things, these accoutrements as they would call them, are really beneficial. One thing that I'll note personally in, in terms of maintaining your system, their bolt carrier group, its construction and the materials that they've used make it just silly easy to maintain. Regardless of round count, I could take it apart, wipe it down and put it right back in action. So uh, kudos to you guys for just the small things that have really made a difference for a shooter. Today we're gonna to be setting up this rifle to shoot the Advanced Rifle Marksman course up here on the mountain. Uh, so let's get into it and build this gun out. Guys, we're back. The rifle set up for this weekend's advanced rifle marksmanship course. Uh, let's talk about it from the muzzle end uh, all the way to the rear. You'll find a KGM R6 lightweight precision can direct threaded on, covered up by Liberty's defense cover. Of course, sling QD with the Ridgeline hog leash, sun and shadow thumb rest uh, for extra stability and grip. We've got the Harris bipod with the R lock adapter, mates up perfectly with the integrated Arca section and the R lock design that Ridgeline put into this gun. As we come back, We've got a Leupold Mark V, Tremor 3 reticle. There's a T2 over here on this side. And of course, that's sitting in a 154 Badger system that allows me to use it for all intents and purposes. Competition allows my data uh, wherever I want it, if I need it here for a quick reference. And as we go to the rear, you'll see some small changes that are my preferences. Again, the Myad grip, uh, the prone optimization device by LaRue Tactical on the CTR uh, with a little bit longer uh, of a butt pad for length of pull. Again, guys, the Ridgeline gun comes out of the box. Fantastic. Uh, ready to go with, I think, excellent choices. Some of these small things, that, you know, as any shooter would, just to make it theirs are, are choices that I, uh, that I prefer to use. But out the box, absolutely capable. All right, let's head over to range one, and let's go ahead and get a good zero and some data confirmation done on this rifle.
All right, so uh, we got a target and uh, it's confirming zero. It looks like uh, right off the rip, gun shooting, I don't know, from my bare eye, about three quarters of a minute. So we're gonna continue printing and uh, make sure we're good to go. All right, that group's real tight. Looks real good. We'll bring it over. Two tenths to the right. Yeah, that should be money. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and zero this red dot. Let's prep these turrets for adjustment. And we're gonna use the seasoned steel as our target. Now we're gonna go ahead and zero these with match grade. Uh, but something I like to do is understand the relationship with my zero with XM193, depending on what I'm using the gun for. And that way I can just make a quick adjustment with my turrets if I wanted to run this SPR on a local two gun match or something of that nature. And uh, in my opinion, it's just really good information to have handy. So we're gonna get three nice printed in there and see where we're at. It just happened so fast. <laughs> Alright, so uh, final zero confirmation. Oh, yeah, let's go. Looks like we could uh, bring it up one or two tenths and uh, play with it going from there. But real, real happy with the accuracy. Um, real happy with the accuracy, especially with the ammo that we're using right now. Um, not, not a permanent solution, but it's what we've got today. And uh, it's a 77 grain nozzler, uh, hollow point bow tail. And in terms of accuracy, it's five rounds, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. So let's uh, let's make a final correction and get after it. What do you think? You wanna do over-unders? You're a betting man. If I was a betting man, uh, I think it's gonna be right around what the test group was. It was, uh, I think it was .476. So uh, we might have beat it, let's see. <laughs> All right, man, so we put it in the uh, bullet math thingy and uh, that last group is 0.38. I can't see it, there we go. That's awesome. All right, guys, day one with the Ridgeline LPR. Uh, she's shooting fantastic. We're able to come out here to the mountain today and get a solid zero, get some data confirmed, and uh, leverage it down range, running some courses of fire to check her out and see how she does putting her through her paces. I'm very impressed, very accurate, very smooth, and I'm looking forward to running her on the clock in the future. And I'm uh, looking forward to this class this weekend. If you haven't been, get out to the mountain and train with Ridgeline Defense. We'll see you out on the range.